Hi, so here we are in chapter 4 and we're going to be covering diatonic chords in major and minor keys. So now we get to take all these random triads and seventh chords that we've been building and find their homes. Okay, so let's start in major and here in example 4-1 we have the harmonized C major scale. See, it's just a C major scale with triads stacked in thirds. Okay, and up top we have uh, the scale degrees, and the bottom we have the Roman numerals. So it might be good uh, to review the scale degree names. Number one is the tonic. Two, supertonic. Three is the median. Four is the subdominant. Five is the dominant. Six is the submedian. And seven is the leading tone. Okay. So, with our Roman numerals, they just go one through seven as well. But since the qualities of the chords are different, that's indicated by whether they're uppercase, like the one, four, and five. These are your major chords. And the two, three, and six, these are the minor chords, okay? And your seven is the diminished, okay? So it has a lowercase Roman numeral with the little circle for the diminished symbol. Okay, so it says you should memorize the following table, and I totally agree with that. Um, every musician and theory student should know um, these things right off the bat, especially when it comes to major. Okay, um, minor, things get a little different. So we'll go over that together, and uh, I'll give you the major points. If you really want to go in depth, I recommend that you read this chapter. Uh, so I'll cover the main things, the highlights, and um, that'll give you the basic information that you need to know um, to understand this chapter. Okay? And I'll see you there. Okay, so let's talk about minor a little bit. So diatonic triads in minor. The construction of triads is somewhat more involved in the minor mode than in major because six and seven are variable. Those are the scale degrees, six and seven, okay? So, and because nearly all triads contain a six or a seven scale degree, more diatonic triads are possible in minor. Nonetheless, there are seven triads in minor, one for each scale degree, that occur more frequently than the others. And these are the ones we will use in our exercises for now. Okay. So the Roman numerals of the more common diatonic triads are circled here. Okay, so um, we have the key of C minor here. And these are all the possibilities if you combined the natural minor uh, the melodic minor and the harmonic minor together. The main ones that we're going to be focusing on are the circled ones. So we have the minor one chord, the two diminished, okay, D, F, A flat, then the major three chord, okay, minor four chord, the major five chord, the major six chord, and the diminished seven chord. Okay? So, if you notice here, there are two types of two chords. Um, now, this two chord, D, F, A natural, is just minor. 
right? It has the raised six scale degree, which is common to the melodic minor scale. Uh, and then the augmented three chord here, we have E flat G B natural. That would be part of the melodic and the harmonic minor scale. We also have a major four, which is part of the melodic minor, because it has the raised sixth. And here we have the minor five chord, and that's part of the natural minor scale, because it has the B flat. But we're using the major five chord with the raised leading tone. Okay, the seventh scale degree is raised to half step. And this type of five chord, the major five chord, creates a stronger pull back to the one. Now here we have the major sixth. And next we have the diminished sixth. Okay, so we have the A natural C E flat. And that's part of the melodic minor. And here, the seven chord is major, okay? It's on the seventh scale degree of the natural minor scale, the B flat, okay? So this is also known as the subtonic, okay? Because it's a whole step away from the tonic. Whereas this is the leading tone, the diminished seven, which is a half step away from the tonic. So as you can see there are quite a bit of uh, options when you start mixing in the uh, melodic minor and the harmonic minor and the natural minor scales. Um, so we really only have to focus on the ones that are circled. So here are the most common diatonic triads in minor. Okay. So the major triads are three, five, and six. The minor triads are one and four, and the diminished triads are two and seven. Okay. So, um, yes, try to memorize that. Uh, as well and you're off to a good start so I think we can start the homework now as far as the triad section goes okay so let's begin the homework we're in uh, exercise 4-1 part A and given the key and the triad supply the Roman numeral below the staff and be sure the Roman numeral is of the correct type correct case and so on. Also include base position symbols, a six or six four, where needed. Finally, provide an appropriate lead sheet symbol above the staff using slash chord notation where appropriate. Okay. So, as the example shows, we're given a triad, we're given a clef and a key. So we have to determine the scale degree um, of that triad to find the Roman numeral and then the quality and then we do the lead sheet above. So with number one we're starting out an alto clef so we know that the middle line is the C. So we have C E flat G. Okay so hopefully you know by now that that is a C minor chord and if we look at our key signatures, the key of E flat major, we have three flats. Okay. And the order of flats is B, E, A, D, G, C, F. Right? Breakfast after eating donuts gets Charlie fat. So the three flats would be B, E, and A. Okay. 
So, we build our scale from E flat. We can do the whole step, half step rule or just follow the key signature. So we have E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's the sixth scale degree, okay? And in a major key, the sixth chord, the sixth chord is minor. C, E flat, G, okay? Oh. We would put a lowercase six, and we would just put a C with the lowercase m there for C minor. Okay. Yeah. So the more familiar you are with your key signatures, um, the better off you are for this exercise. Um, so you might want to keep a circle of fifths handy and a keyboard as well. Okay, so here we are, number three. We're in bass clef. We have, we're in the key of E major, and we have a D sharp diminished chord, okay? So, D sharp is the leading tone of E major, right? It's only a half step away from the tonic, D sharp to E. So, that is a diminished seven chord. And it's in root position, so we would just put D-sharp diminished, okay? I'm going to go a little faster on these. I'm not going to build every triad like we did before, um, because I think that would probably be a waste of both of our time. Um, I assume you're getting better at building these triads by now, and seeing the minor thirds and the major thirds. Um, okay, so here we go, bass clef, key of F major. We have a C chord. Okay, so in the key of F, uh, we know that there's one flat, the B flat, right? So if we go up, one, two, three, four, five, the C chord is the five chord in F major. Okay. So, let me just put an uppercase Roman numeral and then just the letter C there. Okay. Now, number seven. Looks like we have an inversion. Okay. Now, can you tell what type of inversion it is just by looking at it? Hopefully you can by now, that would be really cool. Now, if you check it out, we got C to A flat, that's a minor sixth, and then C to F is a perfect fourth. So there would be a six four, second inversion, right? So if we put the bass note up on top, we had F, A flat, C, F A flat C creates the F minor triad. So in the key of C minor, we have, it's the relative of E flat major, right? C minor is the relative of E flat major. Therefore, it also has three flats, the same flats, B, E, and A. So, we're building an F minor, one, two, three, four. That's the fourth uh, scale degree, the subdominant. Therefore, it's the four chord and we will put a minor four. Six, four. Okay. So for the lead sheet, we just put F minor over C. 
Okay? Alright. So, number nine. C-sharp minor. And we have the E, G-sharp, B. So, that is an E major chord. Okay. Now, a C sharp minor. What's the key signature for that? Well, if we look here, you can see its relative is E major. It has four sharps, the C sharp minor. Okay. And the sharps, the order of sharps, is reversed. So now we go F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Fat Charlie gets donuts after eating breakfast. Okay. So C sharp minor. B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp. Okay. So the E major chord is the one, two, three chord, E, G sharp, B. Okay. So the three chord in a minor key is major. So we would put the uppercase from a numeral. No inversion is needed. Lead sheet has E. And we're done. Okay. Now we have G minor in bass clef. And we have an E flat major triad. Okay. So G minor. The key signature for G minor is two flats. Okay. So we have the B flat and the E flat. Okay. So the E flat and the B flat are present here. E flat major. So what scale degree is that? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's the sixth scale degree. So it's the sixth chord. In root position, it's major. And we'll put the lead sheet E flat. Okay. So, number 13, we're in C minor, the alto clef. And here's our C, so uh, looks like we have A flat, C, E flat. That is an A flat major. And in the key of C minor, A flat is the one, two, three, four, five, six scale degree. And A, C, E flat is A flat major. Okay, so. We put a major six here. And our lead sheet there, A flat. Okay. Number 15, bass clef, E major. So we have A, C sharp, E. Okay. That is an A major triad. And in the key of E major, We have one, two, wait, one, two, three, four. So A major is the four chord. Okay. Gotta make sure that's uppercase. And we put an A there. Good luck with that, and I'll see you on the next section. Okay, so here we are in part B. And in the following exercises, you're given the name of a key and a scale degree number in parentheses, like this. Here's your key. Here's the scale degree number. 
and without using any key signatures, notate the triad on that scale degree and provide the Roman numeral. In minor keys, be, be sure to use the triad type circled in example 4-7, which we already went through. Okay, so uh, the first one, we are in A flat minor, and we want to build a two chord. So in A flat, there are seven flats. Okay. It's the relative of C flat major. And here's your A flat minor. So there are seven flats. There are seven notes in the scale, so everything is flatted. And we want to build a two chord. So from A flat, we go up a whole step and there's our two chord, B flat. So we want to build, uh, we know that the quality of a two chord in minor is diminished, right? So we're going to build a diminished triad off of the B flat and we'll need a B flat a minor third up from that would be D flat and then a minor third up from that would be E? No, it's got to be some kind of F, right? F flat, B flat, D flat, F flat. Okay, so... There's our B, D, and F. Everything's flatted. And we would put a two diminished there. Okay. Now we have number three, the key of G major. And we want to build the chord off the seventh scale degree. So the key of G major. has one sharp. All right, so the sharps start with F, so we know it's going to be an F sharp, All right? So there's the F sharp, and there's the G. So that's the seventh scale degree, All right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the leading tone to the octave. So quality is the seven chord. In major, well, the seventh chord is again diminished. Okay, so we'll build a diminished seventh chord from the F sharp. Okay, so we can build it here or an octave higher. We'll just do it here. And we need the F sharp. F sharp AC. And this time we have a 7 diminished. Okay. Because in major, the diminished chord is built off the 7th scale degree. And in minor, the diminished chord is built off of the second scale degree. Okay. All right, so bass clef, F sharp major. Okay, now we want to build a two chord. Okay, so F sharp major. Let's see. Let's see. There you go. F sharp major has six sharps. Okay, so we'll have the F, C, G, D, A, E. F sharp major. 
F, C, G, D, A, and E sharp. Okay. Now, we want to build a two chord. So, let's check what quality that is. Remember in the major key, two, three, and six are minor. Okay. So we're going to build a minor chord. And the second scale degree in F sharp is G sharp. So we're going to build G sharp minor. So we need a G sharp, a minor third up, one, two, three half steps to a B natural. And then a major third up from the B would be two whole steps, C sharp, D sharp. So we need G sharp, B, and D sharp. That's our minor two chord. G, B, D, and G sharp, B, and D sharp. Okay, so you just put a lowercase two there. All right. Now this time we're in F major. What's the key signature for F major? One flat, right? Okay, I know you've memorized that by now. All right. So, we need a three chord. So we go up three scale degrees. One, two, three. And if we follow the key signature, we'll build an A, C, E. And that is a minor chord. C, E. So we know that the three chord is minor, right? Two, three, and six are minor when you're in a major key. So it's good to know all these things, how they work together. Um, so now we're in C sharp major and bass clef. C sharp major, the three chord. So if C is all naturals, and C flat is all flats, then C sharp is all sharps. Okay, so everything is sharp. F, C, G, D, A, E, and B. So we want the third scale degree. So, F, C, G, D, A, E sharp, and then B sharp. Okay, so the third scale degree in C sharp major would be E sharp major, right? So we would have this is a tricky one. So we have E sharp. So we want to build. It's got to be E, G, and B, right? So let's just put that in for now. I'll show you this. E, G, B. We know everything's sharp, right? So yes, the E sharp. G sharp. And B sharp. And in a major key, we know that the three chord is minor, right? Okay. So we have E sharp, G sharp, B sharp. There's our minor triad. Okay. Minor third, major third. Okay. Now we're in. D flat major tenor clef and we're to build a four chord so in D flat major how many flats are there 
Uh, here we go. There are five flats. Okay. So those would be B, E, A, D, G. Basically all the black notes. Okay. So those are our five flats in D flat major. Um, so we'll have the F natural and the C natural. Now we're going to build a four chord. Okay. So we know that it's going to be major because one, four, and five are major. So let's find the fourth scale degree. One, two, three, four. G flat. So we're going to build a G flat major. G flat, B flat, D flat. Okay. So, let's see. Well, if this is C, we've got F, A, C, right? So, F, G. Okay. We need G, B, D. Okay. And they're all flatted. G flat, B flat, and D flat. Okay. And that is our major four chord. Alright. Number 13. B flat major, the two chord. Okay. So B flat major. has two flats. So they're going to be B flat and E flat. And we want to build a chord off of the second scale degree. So B flat to C. All right. And a two chord in major is minor, right? So we're going to want to build a C minor triad. C, E flat, G. E flat, G, and a lowercase two there. Okay. Now, E flat major, we want to build a seven chord. So, in E flat major, we know there are three flats. We just talked about this key not too long ago, right? Three flats. B flat, E flat, A flat. B, E, A. Okay. So, B, E, A. So the rest will be naturals. And our seventh scale degree, up an octave, boom. It's a D natural. Okay. So, the seventh chord in major, hopefully you remember that that is diminished, okay? So we're gonna build a diminished chord diatonically right from the D, okay? So if we follow the key signature, D, F, A flat, right? Those are all minor thirds, okay? So, D, F, a flat, seven diminished, and we're done. Okay, so hopefully these skills will help you, and I'll see you in the next section. Thanks. Hi. Okay, so we're in part C now, and we're going to be doing analysis. So we're to write the Roman numerals in the spaces provided, making sure that each Roman numeral is of the correct type and includes a base position symbol if necessary. Okay, we have to do the right quality and the right inversions if we need to. So it gives us the key. We are in the key of B flat. Okay. Um, 
and number one, we have B flat, D, F, and B flat. So B flat, D, and F would be a one chord. And it's major, right? It makes sense that the first chord in the song in B flat would be a one chord. Okay. Now we got for number three, G. B flat, E flat, G. Okay, so if we take the E, G, and then we put the B flat up here, we see E flat, G, B flat. That's an E flat major triad. Okay, but since the G is in the bass, that would be first inversion. So, in the key of B flat, the E flat would be the one, two, three, four chord. And we know that one, four, and five in major, in a major key, is a major chord. So, this is a four chord. All right, major four chord. And since it's in first inversion, We'll put the six there. Okay. So you can see the E flat here too. E flat G B flat. Alright. Okay. Now number five. We have two D's, an F and a B flat. Okay. So if you remember the chord tones in the B flat major chord are B flat D and F, we have all those B flat D and F. But now the D is in the bass, all right? So you have the B flat major triad, B flat D and F. If the D is in the bass now, we have the first inversion. So, it's a one chord in first inversion, okay? Now, number seven, we have B flat, and then B, D, F, okay, there's an F, a B flat, and a D. So, it's another B flat major chord, it's just voiced a little differently, okay, same three notes. This time it's in root position. We have a one chord. Okay. So that's it for part C. Now, if we move on to part two of C, we have another section of this song. So we're still in the same key. All right. Now, number one. B flat F, B flat D. Same chord as here. Um, so that'd be a one chord. And here we have the same notes, but this time we have a D in the bass. Right? And we know that that's first inversion. So we have B flat, D, F. D is in the bass, first inversion. Number five. Okay, we have a G, a D, and a B flat. Actually, two B flats, both, both pitches being sung by a different voice. The soprano and the alto are sharing that note. Okay, so this time we have a G, a D, and a B flat. Okay, so what if we stack that up like this? 
we have a G, a D, and a B flat. Well, you can see that that's an inversion, but what if we took the D and moved it up here? We have root position, G, B flat, D. So, that is a G minor triad. And in the key of B flat, which has two flats, the B flat and the E flat. If we go up to the sixth scale degree, one, two, three, four, five, six, we land on the G, all right? G, B flat, D, the sixth chord is minor. Okay, so there we go there. The minor sixth chord in root position. And here we have two F's, an A, and a C. Okay, so F, A, C. F, A, C is an F major triad. And in B flat, that is the fifth scale degree, one, two, three, four, five. We know one, four, and five are major. So it's in root position. There's a five chord. Okay. So hopefully this is all coming together for you. And I will see you in section D. Okay, so here we are in part D. We're to fill in the blanks using the example as a model. So we have a key, and then the chord, and then what bass note the chord has. So in the key of C, the one chord in first inversion has an E in the bass. All right. So the one chord in the key of C would be C E G. So in first inversion, it would be E G C. Okay. So here we are in A minor. We have a five chord in first inversion. So what bass note does that have? Oh. In A minor, now we're going to be using the harmonic minor scale. Um, so if we go up to the fifth scale degree, uh, A minor is all naturals. And then for the harmonic minor, we raise the leading tone, right, to up to the G sharp. So we go from the subtonic, the G, to the G sharp, the A. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp, A. Okay? So the five chord, one, two, three, four, five, is major, right? So it's going to be an E major triad. You have the E, G sharp, and B. So if it's in first inversion, the G sharp would be in the bass. Okay? So, the G sharp there. Okay. Now, number three, C sharp minor. The two diminished six has what note in the bass? So in the key of C sharp minor, there are four sharps. It's relative to E major. Um, the four sharps would be F, C, G, and D. Okay. So the two chord is diminished. So we'd have the D sharp, a minor third from that would be up to the F sharp, and then a minor third from F sharp would be to the A. So you have D, F sharp, and A for the two chord. Now, if it's in first inversion, the F sharp would be in the bass. F sharp, 
a D sharp. Okay. So, number five, the last one, you have to figure out what key. So, the chord is a 1-6-4, and it has this bass note. Okay. And so, it's actually a minor 1-6-4 that has that bass note. So, it's got a D in the bass. Okay. Now, it's a 6-4, so it's a second inversion. So this is the fifth of the chord. So if we want to find the root, we'll go down a perfect fifth, and we find the G. All right? So we have the G minor, as it's a 1-6-4. So G, B-flat, D. And if we invert that to the fifth in the bass, we have D. G and B flat. So the D is in the bass. So the key is lowercase g. Okay? So that's it for the triad section. And I will see you in the next part for the seventh chords. Okay, so we're halfway there. Thanks a lot. Okay, so here we are, and we're about to get into the seventh chords now. So these are the types of uh, seventh chords, and these are the Roman numerals. Um, and here's some examples. So for a major seventh, use an uppercase Roman numeral with an uppercase M and a seven for the major seventh. Okay, and here's an example like one major seventh. Okay, for the major minor seventh, you use an uppercase with a seven, like on the five seven. Okay, so this one is kind of tricky sometimes. Um, a lot of times people think, okay, because it's major, um, I need the M by it. But no, when you have a major minor seventh chord, a dominant seventh chord, all you need is the seven. Okay? So, minor sevenths use a lowercase Roman numeral with the seven. Like here, the sixth chord is a minor six with the seven. So, the lowercase Roman numeral already tells you the quality that it's minor. Okay? So there's no need to put a, a small n. Um, and then with half diminished sevenths, you use a lowercase Roman numeral with the slash uh, circle and a seven, like here on the two diminished seventh, or two half diminished seventh, sorry. And on the diminished seventh chord, you use a lowercase with the circle, no slash, and a seven, like on the seven diminished seven chord. Okay. So the only time you need an M is with the major seventh chord. Okay. Okay. So here is the C major scale harmonized now in the sevenths. Okay. So here's an example um, of uh, the one major seventh, and then the four major seventh, okay? Those are the only times that you're going to need the M. Uh, right here, major seventh, one and four, okay? So, um, the major minor seventh, the dominant seventh is on the five chord, okay? And then with the minor sevenths, you have the two, three, and six. Okay, so there's that right there. And we have a half diminished seven 
on a seven chord, okay, in major, the seven chord is a half diminished seventh, okay? There's no fully diminished seventh in the major scale. Okay, so now with minor, we have the C minor scale harmonized in sevenths. And since the one chord is minor, we use a one seven. And now the four chord is also minor. So we just use a lowercase Roman numeral and the seven. There, minor seventh. And then for the major sevenths, the three and the six are major sevenths. Okay. And in the five chord, again, just a five seven. And then the half diminished seventh is the two chord in minor. Okay. Two half diminished sevenths. And then the seven chord in minor is fully diminished. Okay. So there's a there's a little change there. Now you notice with the triads, these two would just be diminished, right? But when you're in a minor key, the two chord is half diminished, okay? And the seven chord is fully diminished because of the raised leading tone. All right? So remember that in major, the seven chord is half diminished, and in minor, it's fully diminished. The only time it's half diminished is when it's the two chord in minor, okay? So that should be enough to get us going, and we'll start the homework in exercise 4-2, and I'll see you there. Okay, so here we are, 4-2, part A. And we are to provide the Roman numeral um, and inversion symbol, uh, if necessary, um, and also the lead sheet symbol above. Okay, so looks like number one is in an inversion, correct? And if you look closely, we can see that it is a 4 3, all right? G to C is a fourth, perfect fourth, and G to B is a major third, therefore it's a four three. So the fifth is in the base. So if we restack this, we could look at it as we got E G A C A C. E and G. Okay, there we have the root position um, C major seventh chord. So for our lead sheet, we know that it's a C, and then we want the M, right, for major seventh over G, okay? So that's a C major seventh over G. Now, where does that belong in the key of G? So let's count up G, A, B, C. That's four steps, all right? So, Therefore, it would be the four chord. And we know that the four chord in a major key is a major seventh, right? So we have C, E, G, and B, okay? So we would put an uppercase Roman numeral here, four. 
and then major. Okay, and our version symbol four three. Okay. So, number three, we're in bass clef again. We're in the key of F minor. We have a root position seventh chord with a B flat in the bass. So, B flat, remember the key signature for F minor, there are four flats, okay? Let me just show that to you. you. See the A flat major, and then the relative is F minor. We have four flats, and the order of flats is B E A D G C F, right? So let's check it out from here. Here's F, that's the root of our scale, and we have B E. A and D. So these are our four flats. The rest will be natural. So here's one, two, three, four. There's the fourth chord, all right? The fourth scale degree. And we're building a seventh chord from there. So we know that in a minor key, the four chord. is minor, All right? You see that? Okay, so that's one thing we know. Um, and we have all the notes here, so really all we have to do is just put a four and a seven, All right? And we have the B flat minor seventh. So with lead sheet, you do need to put the M for minor, lowercase m, um, but not for the Roman numeral analysis. Okay. Um, let's see, so you can also use different symbols for lead sheet sometimes they'll use a minus symbol for a minor chord and sometimes you use a triangle for a major seventh okay um, so just be aware of that with the roman numeral analysis you only need an m on the major seventh chords okay not on the minor but in lead sheet you need to identify both Okay. All right. So number five, we're in E minor, and we have a root position seventh chord with a G in the bass. Okay. So we have G B D F sharp. So the three chord. Well, actually, let me walk you through that. So we're in E minor, right? And that's the relative of G major. Okay, so we have one sharp, right? And the sharps, the order is F, C, G, D, A, E, B, right? So the G major scale only has one sharp, the F sharp. So, um, the relative E minor also only has one sharp. Okay. Um, now, so we're building a G major seventh chord, and in the key of E minor, one, two, three, that would be the three chord. Okay. So G B D F sharp is a G major seventh. And we know also that in minor, 
in a minor key, the three chord is major. Okay. So. Three, and then major seventh. Okay. And then we'll just put the G major seventh there. Okay. The reason they use different symbols sometimes um, with lead sheet is because a musician might see that GM7 and think, oh, that's a minor seventh. All right. So to avoid any confusion, a lot of times they'll put M-A-J, major seventh, okay, um, which I like. Um, this also works nicely, the triangle, G major seventh, okay? That way there's no confusion. Is it an uppercase M or a lowercase M? You don't have time to, to do that when you're reading a lead sheet. Um, you know, maybe in a jazz setting or something, they give you some music and you don't have time to do that. You need to know right away what quality that chord is. Okay, so, um, but I will use the uppercase M for this exercise. I just want you to know that there's alternatives, okay? Um, all right, so number seven. Looks like I'm getting all the bass cliff on this one. Okay, so uh, we have E flat, G, B flat, D, okay? If you don't already know the quality of that chord, we can figure it out. So here's the G. Now we're in minor, G minor, okay? So in the G minor scale, there are two flats, all right? Let's go back to a circle of fifths, and you see B flat major relative G minor has two flats. And if we go in the order of flats, B and E, all right? So E flat, which is the root of our chord here. is a minor six the way from G. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the six chord, okay? And the six chord in a minor key is major, All right? Let me show you that. See, here we go. Six chord is a major seventh. Oh. You know it's in root position, so we'll just put an uppercase six, uppercase M, major seventh. Okay. For lead sheet, E flat, major seventh. Okay. So, number nine, we're in the key of E major, and we have a chord built off of the G sharp, and it's in root position, nice stacked up super snowman. Okay, so we know the root of our chord is a G sharp. Now if we go, um, we wanna find out the key signature for E major. We go to the circle of fifths and we see that E major has four sharps. We go in the order, it'll be F, C, G, D. Oh. F, C, G, and D. These are our four sharps, 
Okay. So we're in a major key now and we're building a chord off of the third scale degree. So what is the three chord? What's the quality of a three chord in major? The three chord in a major key is minor. Okay. Oh. You have a three, seven. And that would be G sharp minor seventh. Okay. Sometimes they'll put a little MI, right? Minor seventh, though there's no confusion. And sometimes they'll put a minus symbol. Okay. That's up to you. Now, we're in A major, and we have a B as our base um, and the root of our chord here, B, D, F sharp, A, okay? So we're in a major key, A major, and there are three sharps in A major. Okay. So that would be F, C, G. F, C, G. Okay. So we're starting on one. Here's the two, B. So we're going to have a minor seventh. Because the two chord in a major key is minor, right? Two, three, and six are minor in a major key, okay? So we build a minor seventh chord. Here's your minor tri, minor third, one, two, three half steps to a major third, okay? D to F sharp major third and then your minor seventh B to A okay so it's a two seven and we would just put B minor seventh there okay now oh Center clef. Okay. And we're in B minor. Okay, so um, we know that the uh, C is on the fourth line, right? One, two, three, fourth lines right in the middle there. So that would be a C sharp. So if we go down a third from that, that would make this an A sharp. Okay. So, in the key of B minor, how many sharps are there? Well, if we look here, we can see that in B minor, there are two sharps relative to D major. So there's gonna be the F sharp and the C sharp. Okay, so, what is this? A sharp come from, All right? That's not in the key. Well, wait, we're in minor. Let's find that A sharp, okay? So, here we go. Remember, two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. We got B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, and then A and B. So what happens if we raise the leading tone to the A sharp? Hmm. That's part of the harmonic minor scale, right? So that is also the seventh scale degree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's the leading tone, 
Okay, so we know that a chord built off the seventh scale degree in minor is fully diminished, right? From our chart here, okay. Seven fully diminished seventh. Okay, so we have a seven fully diminished seventh. Okay, and up here we would just put a sharp diminished seven. Okay, so remember the tricks in minor. Now, here we are, D major, and looks like we have another B minor seventh chord, right? The same notes. Okay, so let's just put that up here. B minor seventh. Now B minor seventh, how does that relate to the key of D? It was the two chord in A. So in D, D major, we know there's two sharps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. It's the six chord. And the six chord in a major key. Is minor. Right. So that all adds up, and we got a six, seven. Okay. So that's how you do that. There's all kinds of ways you can figure out the qualities of the chords. Now you don't have to just build them one note at a time if you can't see them. You know that if it's a six chord in minor that it's going to be major, all right? If it's a six chord in a major key, it's going to be minor. Just like the three chord in minor is major, the three chord in major is minor. <laughs> okay, um, so I guess we'll just go on to part B. Okay, so here we are in part B. And in the following exercises, we're given the name of a key and a scale degree number in parentheses. And without using any key signatures, notate the seventh chord on that scale degree in root position and provide the Roman numeral in minor keys. Be sure you use the chord types uh, we know in harmonic minor. Okay, so um, here we go. Uh, we have B flat major, and we want to build a uh, four chord, a seventh chord off of the fourth scale degree. <clears throat> so in B flat major, there are two flats, all right? And then the order would be B flat and E flat. Okay, this is why it's so handy to memorize your key signatures, um, so you don't have to do that every time. But it's okay if you need to, okay? The trick is to just get it right, to be accurate. So, now we can build our B-flat major scale. Now that we know the flats, B-flat and E-flat, all right? Here's one, two, three, there's our four chord. So, in a major key, what quality is the four chord? It's a major seventh, right? Okay. So we want to build a major seventh chord from the E flat. Alright. So here we go. We're gonna get a major triad, E flat to G. There's two whole steps, a major third, right? We also know that that is part of the a B flat major scale, right? So we want to go diatonically. 
Now here, G to B flat, there's your minor third. So here's a major triad. And now we need a major seventh on top. So if we go to the octave, perfect eighth, go down a half step to the D, there's our major seventh. So we have the E flat, G, B flat, D. Okay. So let's build that here. E, G, B, D. And let's put our flats, E flat and B flat. So, for major seventh is our Roman numeral. Okay. Now, here we go in B minor, and we want a three chord. Okay, so B minor has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. And we want to build a three chord. So let's start on the B. And we'll go one, two, three. So we're building a chord from the D. That will be the root of our chord. Now what quality will it be? Well, if you remember, in a minor key, the three chord is major. And that's why it's good to memorize these tables. Okay. So, we're going to build a D major seventh. Okay. So we have the D major triad, D, F sharp, A, and then the major seventh, D to C sharp, right? And notice all those notes are in the key of B minor, okay? So we have the D, F, a, C, and we need sharp the F, and sharp the C, okay, so that is our three, major seventh, okay, all right. Now here we are in A major, and we need to build a chord off of the seventh scale degree. Okay, so if we're building a chord off the seventh scale degree in a major key, we're building a seventh chord. When you're in major, the seventh chord is half diminished. Okay, so we need to build a half diminished seventh chord off of the leading tone in A major. If you don't know that, all you have to do is find the A, go down a half step, there's the leading tone, and the G sharp. Okay? So we need to build a G sharp half diminished seventh. So if we follow the key signature of A major, we're good to go. A major has three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Okay, so G sharp going to be a B, D, and then F sharp, right? Okay. So let's build our snowman, super snowman, G, B, D. F sharp the G and sharp the F and we have our seven half diminished seven okay make sure you put the little slash through there for the half diminished seventh okay. all right 
here we are in the key of D major and we want to build a six chord so we know D major has two sharps and we want to build a chord off of the sixth scale degree so we have F sharp and C sharp so here's our perfect fifth one three five there's our sixth so we're going to build a seventh chord from the B and if we follow the key in the signature we'll have B D F sharp A okay and we also know that the sixth chord in a major key is minor all right I'll show you that again sixth chord in a major key is minor quality so we're going to build a b minor seventh b d F sharp A. Okay. So I'll put a lowercase. There we go, six minor seven. All right. And here we go with number nine. We're in E major, we want to build a four chord. Okay. E major has four sharps, F, C, G, D, and we want to build a four chord, so E, F sharp, G sharp, A, there's our four chord. All right, and we know that the four chord in a major key is major, all right, so it's going to be a four major seventh. So, let's find the A, C, E, G, okay, which ones do we need to sharp? The C sharp. and the G sharp. Okay, so that is our four major seventh. Okay, all right, now E flat, and we want to build a three chord, E flat major. Okay, E flat major has three flats, Okay. B, E, and A flat. Okay. So if we go up and we want to build a three chord, we'll go up ho ho. Okay. So a three chord in a major key. Is minor, right? The three minor seventh. Okay. So we're going to build a minor seventh chord from the G. And then we have the G B flat D. There's our minor triad. Okay. And then a G to F natural is our minor seventh. Okay. And notice all of those notes fit in the E flat major scale. We have E flat, A flat, B flat. Okay, for our key signature. So G B D F. And we flat the B. Okay. So three chord is minor, minor seventh. Okay. Now, alto clef, 
We're in the key of F minor. And we want to build a five chord. Okay. So F minor has four flats relative to A flat major. So the B, E, A, D are going to be flatted. All right. So F minor. I'm going to build a five chord. The one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now we're going to build a major minor seventh from the C. Okay. Because we have the raised leading tone. When we're building a five chord in a minor key, we need to raise the leading tone. We need, I mean, we need to raise the seventh scale degree up to the leading tone. So the natural minor would be F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat. So we're going to raise it to an E natural. So we'll go C, D flat, E natural. Okay. So we need to build a major minor seventh. And that will be C, E, G. There's our major triad, C major. And then the minor seventh. On top would be the B flat. See, there's your major seventh and the minor seventh. C E G B flat. Okay. So we know the C is in the middle line, so that helps. C E G. B flat and that is a dominant seventh chord so all we need is a five seven okay good now the last one a flat major and we want to build a six chord okay a flat major is the relative of F minor right so there's going to be four flats as well Okay, see that? A flat major relative F minor. And we're going to build a six chord. So let's follow. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would land us on the F. Okay, so the six chord in the major key. is minor in quality, right? Okay. So we're going to build an F minor seventh chord. So F A C E, right? So that is a major seventh, F, A, C, E. So to make it a minor seventh, we need to lower the third, the A flat, and we need to lower the seventh, F, A flat, C, E flat. And we'll put our Roman numeral. Okay, so there's our six minor seventh. And just to show you that, so you got the F, A, C, E natural, okay? That is your F major seventh chord. We just lowered the third and lowered the seventh, okay? So turn it into a minor seventh. Hmm. All right, so we're done with this section, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so here we are in part C. And we're to do an analysis, and we're to put Roman numerals in the spaces provided, making sure each Roman numeral is of the correct type, and includes a base position symbol if needed. Okay, so for the purposes of this exercise, ignore the G5 in measure 3. Okay, so we're going to be ignoring this note. Okay, so I'll just 
put that in parentheses right now. Okay, so here we go. We have to determine the key. Um, we have two flats. All right, so there are two choices. Um, and you might already know those choices by now. All right, so two flats could either be B flat major or G minor. So, <clears throat> and if we look, it's starting on a B flat. So we have B flat, D, and then we have F, B flat, D. So this is a B flat major chord, and it also ends on a B flat. Uh, major chord. Okay, so um, it looks like we have an F. Okay, there's a five chord to one. There's your cadence five to one. So we know that this is B flat major. So we'll put that there with the colon. Okay, and now. That's just a one chord, okay? So, you shall do this one, and I will do number three. So, check this out. It says, be sure to include tied notes, like the E flats in measures two and three. So, since these notes are still being heard, it's part of the chord. That G is just a non chord tone. Okay, so altogether we have F, all right, E flat, A, and C. Okay, so F, A, C, and E flat. All right, so the F we know. in the key of B flat. That's the five chord. One, two, three, four, five. And a five chord is a major minor seventh. So we'll have a major triad, F A C, and the E flat on top. There's your minor seventh. Uh, the interval F to E flat is a minor seventh. The chord is a major minor seventh otherwise known as a dominant seventh. So you just put five seven and there we go. All right. Now do that one. And here we are. Let's look at this chord. We have D and then two Fs. Uh, then we have B flat, okay, D, F, B flat. Okay, so B flat, D, and F is a B flat major. So this would be an inversion. It has a D in the bass. It has, the third is in the bass, right? B flat, D, F. So we know that that is a first inversion, all right? Six, three, just a six, okay? So we will put one, six, okay? And then here, <clears throat> We have the E flats again, then F, C, E flat, there's our A. Okay, so there's another five, seven. And we'll let you figure out the rest. <laughs> okay, see you in the next part.
Okay, so here we are in the last exercise. <clears throat> so we're uh, going to analyze this piece, my Brahms. We have a four-part harmony, uh, each on their own uh, staff. So we need to account for each note and that will create a chord. Okay, so we're given the key signature, four sharps, and here we're giving, given a uh, uppercase one Roman numeral. So we know that it is in E major, not C sharp minor, right? Okay, you see that? All right. So we're given the first chord. That would be an E major. So we have E and G sharp. Looks like they've omitted the fifth, but that's fine. As long as you have the root and the third of your chord in a triad, um, you can omit the fifth. Okay. So, okay, so here we are, our next chord. We have a C sharp, E, and a G sharp. Okay. And here's another E. So C sharp, E, G sharp. Let's look at that. C sharp, E, G sharp. Okay. We know that is a minor triad. And it is on the sixth scale degree. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we know that a six chord in a major key is in a minor is a minor quality. Okay, so the six chord in major is minor. So we're good. So I'll put a lowercase six there. That's nice reposition. Okay. Right. Now we have an A, an E, an A and a C sharp. Okay. So A, C sharp, E is an A major triad. And in the key of E, the A is the four chord. One, two, three, four. And we know that four chords are major in a major key. So we'll have the A, C sharp, E. Okay. So I'll put an uppercase four there. And our next one, <clears throat> we have a B, a D sharp, an F sharp, and an A. Okay, so that's nicely stacked up already in root position. B, D sharp, F sharp, A. So the B in the key of E would be the five chord. If the A is the four chord, then the B is the five chord. All right. And we know if it's a seventh chord, the five chord is going to be dominant. So we have a major minor seventh. B, D sharp, F sharp, A. So you have your major triad and a minor seventh. Therefore, it is a five seven. And we are done with this section. So my advice is to uh, try and memorize your key signatures and memorize the common diatonic seventh chords in major and in minor. Okay. And remember the tricky things that happen in minor. Watch out for your raised leading tone. Um, and uh, make allowances for the harmonic and the melodic minor scale, as well as the natural minor. Okay, so thank you, and I'll see you in the next uh, chapter. All right, bye now.